Hi, so what is a heat engine? Well, heat engine is a generic term which applies to all engines which work on the basis of a temperature difference between hot and cold. That temperature difference then results in a flow of heat between hot and cold. There is a difference in heat energy between the hot input to the system and the cold output of the system. That difference in energy represents the amount of mechanical work which can be performed by the system. In a heat engine, the conversion of heat energy into mechanical work is usually achieved by using that heat energy to expand a gas. Examples of heat engines include the steam engine and the internal combustion engine in your car, in which expanding gas is used to move a piston. Here I have an example of a different type of heat engine. It's called a Stirling engine and it was invented in 1816 by the Scottish engineer Robert Stirling. In this Stirling engine, the temperature difference between hot and cold is the temperature difference between the top metal plate and the bottom metal plate. The bottom plate is kept warm while the top plate is kept cold or at room temperature. There is a big piston between the two plates which you can see moving up and down. This is called the displacer piston and it is driven by the flywheel. The function of the displacer piston is to move the air alternately onto the hot and cold metal plates. When the air in the engine is on the hot plate, it expands, and when the air is on the cold plate, it contracts. It is this expansion and contraction which powers the second piston, which is called the power piston, which you see here. It is this power piston which moves the flywheel. So to power this Stirling engine, I need to create a temperature difference. And in order to do that, I need to find some way to heat the bottom metal plate. So I need to find something hot. But what could I use? My coffee cup. After all, the coffee is hot. Let's try it. I'll put the coffee cup there and I'll put the Stirling engine on top. Now I'll give it a few seconds just to warm up. Now I'll give it a little spin just to start it off. And it's off. Now this is purely running on the heat energy contained within the coffee. It's amazing. It has been suggested that this is the power source of the future. After all, if it can run off a cup of coffee, it can run off just about any source of heat. For example, waste heat or solar power. NASA are even considering using Stirling engines to generate electrical power on deep space missions. Eight Stirling engines could produce 500 watts of power. The second example of a heat engine I'm going to show you is something you might not recognise as a heat engine. It is the famous drinking bird toy. Now you might dismiss this as nothing more than a child's toy, but you might be more impressed when I tell you I have had this operating continuously for almost a month. This is the nearest thing to a perpetual motion machine you're ever going to find. Even Albert Einstein was fascinated when he first saw the drinking bird. It is reported that he said he had no idea how it worked. So how does the drinking bird work? So when the bird dips its beak into the water, wait for it, splotch, water then evaporates from the beak. This has the effect of cooling the beak, just as sweat evaporating from your body cools your body. This then creates a temperature difference between the head of the bird and the fluid which is in the glass bulb at the bottom of the bird, which is at room temperature. It is this temperature difference which powers the forwards and backwards motion of the bird. This is therefore another form of heat engine. 
running on the same basic principle as the Stirling engine and the steam engine. They are all heat engines. If you want to find out more about heat engines, you should buy my book, Hidden in Plain Sight 12. This is the twelfth book in my science book series, and it is subtitled Consciousness and the Steam Engine.